All right, guys, so it's three sets of the first bar complex. One benefit of the bar complex is it's gonna increase work capacity. You're supersetting push, pull, along with that muscle up, which is explosive, full body movement. Really up, line them up, line them up, knock them down. Yeah. They said it was a grind. They said it takes time, yeah, I know. I guess they were in line. Every time I try to climb, they cut the rope. I fell straight to the bottom, got problems, I don't really wanna talk about them, no. I've been down this road too many times to be afraid, I close my eyes when I walk down it. What's going on, YouTube? You're here with the Prez. Today I'm bringing you another Florida workout. So I'm at a new park today from the one you're used to seeing. We're gonna be training bar complexes today. We're gonna be going for nine total sets, three different routines, so three sets of each routine. The first routine is gonna be done weighted. I have my kettlebell with me today. So the first routine is gonna be weighted. So I got the 10 pound kettle. And remember, bar complexes are gonna be full body movements, right? It's gonna primarily target the upper body, but because you have to really engage the core, keep the legs tight, it's always gonna be considered like every calisthenic exercise, full body tension. These are gonna be really good for building full body control, muscle as well, because typically bar complexes, the rep ranges are usually on the lower end. I mean, you, you will see me doing higher volume sets on the bar, but weighted, they're gonna be lower volume, more on that hypertrophy and strength building rep range. So remember, bar complex is gonna be three movements, muscle ups, dips, and pull ups. So it's gonna be a push, pull, super set with muscle ups in there. So the first routine for three rounds is gonna be one muscle up with the 10 pound kettle, 10 dips on top, five strict pulls with a one second pause at the chin. Three rounds. All right, guys, 16 reps a clip. Next set for sets two and set three, I'm gonna up the dips by two and up the pulls by two. So it'll go 12 dips, seven pulls, and by set three, it'll be 14 dips, nine pulls, all with one muscle up, everything falling in that strength, that one muscle up, and the hypertrophy rep range. So two more sets, two to three minute break in between each round. All right, guys, so it's the third set. Set two, we did one, 12, seven. Reason why I'm skipping sets is it's hot out here. I don't want the phone to overheat. So third set of this complex, one muscle up. We have 14 dips, nine pulls, all with a 10 pound kettlebell. And again, guys, I'm taking about three minute break in between each set right now. That was 14. All right, guys, so it's three sets of the first bar complex. One benefit of the bar complex is it's gonna increase work capacity. You're supersetting push, pull, along with that muscle up, which is explosive, full body movement, really generating a lot of force and power, specifically with those type two powers, uh, muscle fibers. Then you're really talking to those type two fibers again, hitting those reps in that six to 12 rep range, superset fashion. Now it's gonna lead again into a little more endurance based work as well. You guys can see heart rate's up, I'm exasperated. Set's only taking me about maybe 30 to 45 seconds total. Perfect for that hypertrophy rep, uh, time marker period. So the next six sets, remember, three total routines on the bar, nine total sets. They will be body weight sets. Next one's gonna be a little more complex with some uh, skill work involved. So see you at the next set. All right, guys, so the three weighted sets are done. Now we're gonna get into a little more skill slash dynamic skill work as a bar complex also. So we're gonna go four front lever raises, one muscle up, and then I'm gonna do hips elevated pushes, which are really gonna focus a little more shoulder work too, so I'm gonna be more stacked over. So four front lever raises, one muscle up, and then hips elevated dips.
So watch, guys. Hips come up. Mimicking that planche position. Oh, elevating the hips, keeping them in almost a pike position is forcing you to engage the core, the glutes, and really work on focusing on piking up and holding that form while doing the dips. It's not easy. Only was able to catch seven of those dips because now a lot more core activation. Really got to squeeze and pike up from the hips and you're placing a lot more stress on the front delt, mimicking that planche. But now most people are doing it supinated. The more advanced version is the pronated grip planche on a straight bar. All right, guys, this is the sixth total set. So this is the third set of this routine with the four front lever raises, one muscle up into hips elevated straight bar dips. And when you guys are going to notice on this third and final set of this routine, instead of doing the straight bar dips with pronated grip, I supinated the grip, which is going to force me to lean even a little more far, a little more forward, placing a little more stress on the front delt. All right, guys, so three sets of the front lever raises to uh, elevated hip straight bar dips. Remember, the first routine, we did, we did muscle ups first. Second routine, we did the muscle up after the front lever raises, making the muscle up a little harder. Now this is gonna be a pure endurance set on the bar. We're gonna be going 10 pulls, one muscle up, 15 dips, set one, 12 pulls, one muscle up, 17 dips, then 14 pulls, one muscle up, 19 dips, to end the routine. So I'm gonna show you guys round seven, which is now, which is gonna be 10 pulls, one muscle up, 15 dips, and then I'll show you the ninth and final set. I'm just gonna skip out the next set. One, the phone's starting to die out here and it's really hot, I don't want it to overheat. So let's get this endurance work in now. So remember, we did more strength hypertrophy work with the weighted sets. Then we did a little more skill, dynamic work, getting your body to flow together, mixing up the front lever raises and the elevated hip uh, straight bar dips. Now we're gonna get some endurance work in. We're gonna add another muscle at the end of this routine because it was an easy one. All right, that was the seventh set. Two more rounds to go. That's nine bar complex sets, guys. Remember, if you guys really wanna build your calisthenic work capacity up, staying on the bar is the best way to do it. Better than doing pyramid sets when you're going 10 dips, 10 pulls, down like that, right? Because you're always gonna get that break when you're going exercise to exercise. Staying on the bar is constant tension. You're not giving, even though when you're dipping, the pull muscles might have a break, but not so much because even though you're on top of that bar dipping, the posterior chain, your back is still stabilizing. So everything's involved on these bar complex. And you can see, they definitely exasperate you. So you can, the longer the set is, the more endurance and cardio base is gonna be as well. Two more sets to end out the nine round sets. Let's go. All right, guys, let's get it. Ninth set. Look, you guys can see I'm pretty pumped right now. Granted, I did nine rounds, but the volume is still, again, each set, no more than really like 20 reps until we got to these endurance rounds. Now I'm hitting close to 30 rep clips, right? We're doing 10, 15, plus the two muscles at the end. Now we're at 12 pulls, 17 dips. So everything's gonna get a little higher and the volume's gonna keep increasing as the routine goes. But the first six sets, the, first six sets, the volume of each routine was relatively low, right? So you're getting a lot of work done over the nine sets. But again, you gotta learn to manage that overall volume and intensity. Let's get it, guys. Last round. Let's go, guys. 19 dips. little bonus at the end all right guys I hope you guys enjoyed these routines look if you guys can't do 
muscle ups yet but still want to benefit the bar complexes if you guys could do pulls and dips all you guys need is a resistance band and you can get this working the resistance band and putting your body through routines like this even though your body can't really do a muscle up is going to dramatically increase your body's capability of learning the muscle up so do them band resisted and then do the bar complexes because the muscle ups are going to be really getting trained almost every set under fatigue and they're just gonna get better and better. And you guys can keep increasing the band intensity if you need to, right? So work at your level. You can do them all weighted sets. At the end, keep the weight on. We did the first routine with the 10 pound kettlebell. Then the next six rounds, all body weight strength, skill work, then more endurance work. This way we're tapping in to all modalities of training, right? We got the strength work, the hypertrophy work, and the endurance work in. Hope you guys enjoyed this routine. Don't forget guys, like the video. It really helps the algorithm. Leave a comment. I always comment back. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video with your friends, your family. Peace out, guys. Born Naturals. For a die, I'm top three. For a die, I'm top three. For a die,